Greetings, Forward Fox here. Next up, we're looking at the Babylonians. The Babylonians are a scientific civilization, meaning they are geared towards outpacing other civilizations through the technology tree. They make a good start by generating a free great scientist upon discovering writing, which allows you to construct an academy improvement very early on in the game. This usually increases the empire's science output by a factor of three, allowing you to take an early lead in technology. This lead becomes hard for AI players to overcome on all difficulties outside of Immortal. It's almost always more beneficial to head straight to writing as your science score increases so much that you can research the other technologies you need to improve your capital quickly after this. The Babylonians are also very good at defensive combat, particularly in the early game. They have their unique replacement for the archer, the bowman, as well as their unique early game defensive building, the Walls of Babylon, which replaces walls. These can make up a great way to defend your cities. Make use of both of these and you will have a strong defense against enemy attacks. The bowman enjoys a higher range strength than the archer which it replaces, and coupled with the walls of Babylon which has plus 6 city strength and plus 100 city health, makes your fledgling civilization not one to be messed with early in the game. Use these to feel sure that you can take anything that comes your way. Thanks to Babylon's unique ability, earning great scientists is also 50% faster. This allows you to keep ahead of every other nation technologically. Combine this with rationalism so that others will never be able to catch up with you and you'll always have some sort of advantage, especially when it comes to wonder buildings. Something to be mindful of though. The rapid technological development also means more buildings will become available earlier. This may prove to be a problem if not balanced with city production output or the empire-wide gold output. So it's advisable to try either to improve your city's production or to build a strong economy. Many players prefer to focus on economic development as the rationalism branch later in the game grants perks that make trading posts provide science in addition to enhancing gold generation. That coupled with the fact that the workshop building is on the bottom of the tech tree while the science buildings are usually clumped at the top. So economic prowess seems like a better and more efficient deal all round for balancing this disadvantage. Too much tech is such a drag, isn't it? Again, like, subscribe, take a screenshot, send it to your mum. I've been Forward Fox, over and out.